January 5, 2011, at 7.02 a.m., the 687-foot cider Sario struck an iceberg resulting in hull rupture and immediate oil leakage into the Bering Sea. First responders included the Coast Guard and two private crabbing vessels. Within the first 24 hours, over 13,000 gallons of grade 3 heavy crude leaked into the ocean. Before repairs could be made, the total leakage was estimated at 22,750 gallons. Upon immediate impact with the iceberg, the Cider Sario began leaking oil from starboard holds 2 and 3. A 6 degree list to starboard was realized by 9.20 a.m. with no threat of sinking. The ship remained on station for initial repairs and towing to Kaskokwin Bay. The initial oil leakage rate was estimated at 460 gallons per hour from starboard holds 2 and 3. The slick covered 2.3 square miles in the first 24 hours with a final leakage estimate of 22,750 gallons. The first responder on scene was a Coast Guard helicopter, Chinook 271. It arrived approximately two hours after the ship's impact with the iceberg. It provided visual assessment of the damage and remained on site until 11.20 a.m., providing aerial support. Crabbing boats, Lady Luck and Big Breaker, arrived on scene as a pair approximately four hours after the ship's impact with the iceberg. Lady Luck happened to have oil boom on board and began immediate deployment at the direction of the Coast Guard helicopter. Coast Guard cutter Polar Star arrived on scene approximately eight hours after the ship's impact with the iceberg. Members of the Coast Guard crew boarded the tanker and performed inspection of the hull damage and assessed the potential for additional oil leakage. As the Cider Sario was stabilized on site and further leakage was prevented, additional environmental damage was minimized. While primary fault for the incident lies with the captain, who followed a route too close to Iceberg A. Additional liability falls on contractor Dungan Corporation for the pre-accident installation of a non-calibrated subsurface collision alarm system. Given the heavy fog conditions recreated here from NOAA data for this location and time, a properly installed collision alarm system would have given the captain and crew sufficient time to alter course and prevent impact with the iceberg.